Hi, boys and girls, it's me. And underneath this brown toweled lump you see here on the shop table is a piece of electronic apparatus that screams 70s. And I kind of wanted one of these when it was brand new. But I already had committed to something else. So uh, if you remember the Fairlawn uh, Ham Fest, which is the day after Thanksgiving, uh, Ham Fest swap meet, more of a swap meet instead of a Ham Fest. Um, I was able to pick this up reasonably priced, and uh, it's kind of rare. Rare doesn't necessarily mean valuable, but um, I needed, like, I, I needed, uh, you know, a snot-filled nose. I'll let it go with that. And anyway, here it is. Whoop! Well, get a little flash here. Let me change the camera angle. There we go. Move the move the light around. That is a Simpson 360 volt ohmmeter. And uh, I'll tell you a little story about this. When I was going to school, I had saved up a lot of, a lot of dough. And I had picked up a, a Simpson 260 analog 266P. And about four months afterward, one of, my, one of my buds had bought one of these brand new. And I said, wow, it's a digital meter. And uh, I found this at the auction. It was all of uh, $25. It didn't have leads, so I bought a good set of leads to go with it. So I probably have about $40 tied into it, and uh, we're going to see if it works. So uh, let's uh, give it a go. Now, much to my surprise, I, I've kind of sort of did some preliminary checks with this. So my, my biggest concern was, well, just the display work. So I went to turn this on, and then here's your settings right here. You have battery, battery charge only, I guess, if you had uh, rechargeable batteries. I don't have, well, I, I have a manual kind of sort of, I'll get to that in a second. Right now it's in the off position, and you have DC ohms and then AC. So I'm going to put this just in DC ohms just to turn it on. And we look at that. The display is working which is cool. Go to AC. And at least the display is working for now. Now I suspect that this might need a little bit of tweaking. I don't know how accurate this is going to be if it works at all. But uh, we're, we'll make some tests and uh, we'll, we'll make comparisons with this against another meter and uh, see where it goes from there. But I was even surprised that uh, Someone at the auction had threw batteries in, I guess, just to test it to see if it worked or not, which was probably a, a good idea. Okay, so what I've done is I grabbed my uh, my handy-dandy, and I've had for, oh, God, probably, I don't know, 25 years, 30 years, maybe to my Fluke 75. And uh, right now, I have both of the meters set on AC volts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and plug this into my Let's put these guys into my uh, uh, line voltage thing here. And it's usually about 123.7, 124.6, according to the fluke. Now, I don't know how, how accurate that is, but it's probably within a tenth or two. I might, That would be my guess. So let's see. Let's see. Make sure I'm in the right area here. I'm going to put this on the... 200 volt scale, or how about, yeah. Here, I'll just go on to high voltage AC scale here. And uh, let's see what we got from here. And when you know, I can't get, oh, there it goes. I can't quite get the probe into in the socket. These, these, I've never worked with these probes yet. These are Fillmore probes. So they're not, they're, I forget where they were made, but they weren't made in China. And I've had good luck with this kind of stuff before. All right, so let's see what the... So the Simpson is reading 125 volts, and I was about 124.6, 124.7. Let me try it on a different scale here. I'm on the 200 volt scale. Look at that, 124.5, 124.6. So it's pretty close to what the fluke is uh, telling me. So, uh, geez, I mean, I have to 
do too much tweaking to this. All right, so uh, just for grins and giggles, let's try some resistors. So I'll go to the DC ohm scale here, and let me go to the ohm scale on the fluke. And uh, we'll just take it from there. Okay, for starters, I'm going to try this guy right here. All right, and if you remember your resistor color code, now this is a 39 ohm uh, 1 watt carbon resistor. All right, so this resistor may be off a little bit. Uh, it, even though it's new old stock, it's you know probably 40, 50, 60 years old. I have no idea where I got this resistor from. But let's give it a try. We'll 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 do it in just for grins and giggles. We'll do it in the Simpson first. Oh, so how do I know it's a 39 ohm? Okay, well, orange stripe, that's the first stripe. That's a 3. Okay, the white is 9. The black is a multiplier, which is the third stripe on there. So there's no zeros at the end of that. So it's 39 ohm, and the silver stripe is telling me it's a 10% tolerance resistor. Okay. Now let's give it a whirl. Now on the... Why am I not getting a reading here? Oh, I'm on the wrong scale on the meter. Duh! Okay. Let's try... Oop. Oh, I just dropped the resistor. Okay, I put the Simpson on the 200 ohm scale, which should be playing for this, and let's see what it's going to say. All right, 39 ohm resistor, it's reading 41.4, 41.5, That may be close to being correct. Let's see what the, uh, the fluke says. Uh, the fluke is saying 40 and a half. So there's probably a little bit of an error error in the uh, the Simpson, um, but probably not by much. But you know, for one ohm, I'm really not gonna not gonna complain. Let me see what I can find the resistor in the same box that I took the other one out of. Okay, here's this might be a good one. Now this one is also a one watt resistor. And we've got, I don't know how well it's coming up. Maybe I should put the light on just temporarily so you can see it better. In a, nope, that's too much light. Okay. I can't really tell from looking at the lens. Anyway, what you have here is three orange stripes. Okay, and ironically, orange is the number three. So we have three, three. Okay, the number 33, and then... As a multiplier, we got another orange stripe, so that's three more, so that's three zeros. So this is a 33K resistor, and that red band at the end means it's a 2% tolerance resistor. All right, so let's, this time, let's go with the, uh, the fluke first. And I imagine this is probably pretty close to being 33,000 ohms. Let's see what the, the fluke says. And it's telling me 32.8. Okay, well, that's pretty close to 33K. All right, let me get the ohm scale adjusted here. We'll go to the 200K scale on the 360. Let's see what we got going on here. Look at that. Everybody see that? 33.0. Dead on. Wow. I'm impressed. Because I, I had a... I had a weird feeling about this meter that it was going to need to be uh, really gone through and calibrated or whatever, but so far it seems to be uh, pretty accurate. I think maybe the next thing I do is just maybe try a, a DC uh, battery. Let me get, you know what, let me get one of my lead acid gel cells or my uh, lead acid uh, batteries that I use, a 12 volt battery. Okay, uh, next I have my this is one of my 12 volt lead acid batteries I got. I got about three of these I keep around. I have a radio that I put together that uses these. But anyway, um, 
So let's, for grins and giggles, now I already set both meters up to a DC scale. That'll be, uh, be good for this. So let's do the uh, flute first. Oop. Let me let me get the. I don't want to block the shot of the meter here. Okay, and th almost 13 volts flat. All right, 13.01 volts on um, that. And now let's see what let's see what Simpson 360 says here. I got. Thirteen point one one. Well, that one's off a little bit, but who's to say that the fluke might be off? That's a tenth of a volt. I'm not going to worry about too much. You know, it's just uh, it's it's close enough for government work, as far as I'm concerned. So, anyway, I'm pretty darn happy. You know, I think I've got. Well, I I can tell you right now, I I didn't need another meter. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, I've got a couple analog meters. I have uh, now three digital meters. But uh, it just goes back to my childhood, and I remember when uh, my, my friend got one of these brand new. So this is a little dirty. I mean, it's got some, let me bring it in. You can see the there's some dirt and schmutz around things. And you can see that that cover could be all polished up and made to look real nice. Even at scale, I didn't explain that. That's a scale that shows you uh, how far off you are from zero, plus or minus. So, I've got to play with this thing a little bit more, but for for basically, I got a $45 investment you know, between the, the uh, meter and the leads, and uh, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with it. And I've got something that's uh, Rather unique and something you don't don't see very often. So I'm gonna have fun uh, playing with it. So anyhow, that's it for now. I figured I'd show that to everybody. That's my that's what I brought home from the uh, day after Thanksgiving uh, swap up in Fairlawn. Everybody take care, stay safe out there, and uh, hey, I want everybody to have a very happy and healthy holiday season for yourself and your family. And we'll catch up with you real soon. Bye.